Hi everyone, this is fitness specialist Emily here. Um, I'm here to talk about some of my favorite shoulder exercises um, that can be good preventative exercises for shoulder problems. Um, just a note before we get into these, um, you don't want to use them as a, a substitute for physical therapy. Um, so remember, these are preventative. Um, if you are in a lot of pain, make sure you see your physician. Um, the first exercise we're going to talk about is um, shoulder cars, so shoulder um, controlled articular rotations. And basically what this is, is working in your range of motion of your shoulder. Um, I think we've all heard of the term, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So as we go through our full range of motion, we're gonna do about three to five rotations. Um, so we're gonna start nice upright position, trunk facing forward. We wanna make sure we're nice and tight in our core. We're gonna raise our arm up and elevate that shoulder. Our thumb should be pointing back towards the wall. Okay, and we're gonna start to bring our arm to the side. Our thumb is gonna rotate down and you can see that my arm is going behind me. This is nice and slow. It's an arc. And as I bring that arm all the way behind, I'm gonna go back in the other direction. My thumb's gonna start to come up to the start. And then you're gonna do this about three to five times. And you can do this one daily. Um, now remember, if you feel any pain in this movement, um, make your range of motion a little smaller. So you don't have to do what I'm doing. It should look different for every person. So if you find a spot that really hurts, um, just don't move quite as large. A couple things you wanna watch out for in this one is that your trunk isn't turning when you're doing this, so don't compensate with your trunk to make your range of motion bigger. And try to keep your shoulder from dumping forward. So you wanna keep it nice and straight, and we don't want it to go forward like that. Um, so that is the first exercise. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do is a press, um, but with this, I'm using a kettlebell. Um, you can also use a dumbbell by holding it by the bottom so that the weight would be at the top. Um, the reason for this is it makes it a little unstable, so we really need to focus on stabilizing our shoulder um, as we push up. So again, we start with a nice tight core, make sure our posture is good. We're gonna press up and then slowly on the way back down. And think about screwing that shoulder um, into the socket as you do this. You wanna make sure that you're not wobbling back and forth. Keep this weight as straight as you can. And try to keep a nice straight pathway. We don't wanna go out and in. Go up and then slowly back down. You probably won't need a lot of weight for this one. Um, I would recommend doing about three sets, 10 to 15 repetitions. All right, so next exercise, um, you're gonna need to find a spot that you can be seated. So maybe you have a couch, um, if your bed is fairly firm, or if you can get up from the floor, you can do it this way. Um, so we're gonna have one leg bent, and we're gonna use a dumbbell for this one, or you can think of using a soup can. And we're gonna put our elbow on our knee. So you see my knee is bent on the same side. So our elbow should be just a little beneath our um, shoulder. So I'm gonna have the weight facing, my palm facing forward. And this is a nice, slow, controlled motion. I go down and then back up. You don't need heavy weight for this one. Um, so don't, don't try to be a hero with your weight. Um, and then remember, just nice, slow, and controlled. And then I would recommend doing um, about three sets, 10 to 15 reps. Um, if any of these exercises cause, cause pain, um, make sure that you um, stop them and um, consider if the pain worsens or if the pain doesn't go away, that you consider seeing your physician. Um, but give those a shot and see what you think. Thanks for watching.